Here you have four identical rods. Uh, the rods are these, these, these things here. Lah. The rods are placed side by side and their total width is measured with vernier calipers. The measurement that you read on the vernier calipers is 8.4. But then you also have zero reading. You look two times. You look at zero and you look again when you are at the full measurement. So two times. Huh? What is the width of one rod? In this length that we just measured, this is the four four widths because uh, they are four stuck together, right? So this is 4W. Maybe let's start by finding the value first. So if four of these widths are, are 8.4 mm, then one width is going to be 8.4 divided by 4. That will give us 2.1. So each single one of these is 2.1 millimeter. How about the uncertainty? Ah, this is where you have some problem here. You see, when you check zero reading on the calipers, your eye look at the scale one time. That's why you already have an uncertainty. Then when you read at 8.4, your eye look at the scale again. Two times you look. So uncertainty again. So you want to combine the uncertainty. Combine uncertainty. How do we combine? Got equation there? Usually, what we do is we take 8.4, right? You see on the left side, 8.4. We usually minus the zero reading. This is a, there's no zero reading, so we just minus zero. Lo. But this is a case where the uncertainties will add together. So we add uncertainty. So the uncertainty in 4 of W, which is what we just read, will be 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. And all this is in millimeter. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. 0 0.2 millimeter for the whole reading of 8.4, including zero error. But wait, this is for four of the width. So if you want to find one now, so the uncertainty in one reading is multiplied by four. So we have to divide, divide by four, chop up into four. This now, divide by four, will give us 0 0.05 millimeter. That is your uncertainty. And now we can write out the final answer. So when you're writing the final answer, the first step you want to do is make sure you round off to 1SF. So 1SF, 0 0.05 looks good. Okay, we'll keep 1SF. Plus minus 0 0.05, keep your unit. Then your value must follow the same decimal place. So if this is one, two decimal place, that means your answer should also have 2.10. Follow, one, two, two decimal place. So based on this, we should get a value of, mm, closest value is B. So the answer that we can choose for this uncertainty is B. So it's pretty neat that although each reading we take by Werner Caliper is uncertainty, if you stack many, many together like this, you can divide by the number of stacking that we have. This is what I call multiple measurements and you divide the uncertainty by that multiple. Which is also why if I ask you a challenge question, hey, you got paper at home, right? Find the thickness of one paper. Well, very hard. Paper is very thin, you know. But what you could do is you stack many, 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 many paper. It's like a book, almost A4 paper. Then you measure this width. Ah, this height or thickness. Then you divide by 100 sheets of paper. So if I say, oh, I have uncertainty in T, I can divide it by 100 because I have 100 sheets. So that's why we stack multiples to reduce the uncertainty in a single value.